Hata hivyo tukiendelea na taarifa zaidi kundi moja la wanaharakati sasa linawataka makamishna wa nane wa tume ya ardhi wajiuzulu mara moja kufuatia tuhuma za ufisadi dhidi yao wanaharakati hao wametoa makataa ya siku 30 kwa makamishna hao kujiuzulu la sivyo wawasilishe mswada bungeni ili kuanzisha mchakato wa kuondolewa ofisini kwa lazima Yaelekea minyororo ya mateso na masaibu dhidi ya mwenyekiti wa tume ya taifa ya ardhi Mohamed Sozuri ingali na mwandama. Wiki moja baada ya kufikishwa mahakamani na kushtakiwa kwa makosa ya kula njama ya kuilagai serikali jumla ya shilingi milioni moja kupitia mpango wa kufidia ununuzi wa ardhi ya umma kwa ajili ya ujenzi wa reli ya kisasa ya SGR. Mashirika ya jamii sasa inamtaka Sozuri na makamishina wengine kwenye tume ya ardhi waondoke ofisini mara moja kwa misingi kwamba maadili yao yameingia doa. And give it, and we are going to give them 30 days period within which if they choose to take the safe path of what we are calling dignified exit we will not make this information public we are giving them a chance to exit which which is the normal house. if you feel information against you is overwhelming the rightful thing in a civilized society is resignation Kulingana na kundi la wanaharakati wanaojihusisha na masuala ya uongozi na utawala wa ardhi, makamishina wengine hasa wana staili kuchunguzwa na kushtakiwa kwa makosa ya ulagai na ufisadi baada ya kudaiwa kujihusisha na uuzaji, ununuzi na ukodeshaji wa mashamba makubwa, pasi na kuzingatia sheria na kanuni zilizopo. Mfano, ni mashamba ya kampuni ya Saruja ya Mombasa Cement, Kakuzi, shirika la taifa la ujenzi wa nyumba na mashamba ya Mbakasi na shule ya msingi ya Mwamdudu karibu na barabara ya Dogo Ngundu. We also have a list of commissioners who were located houses under the in the National Housing Corporation scheme in Mbakasi. And uh, we do suggest that uh, looking at the list, there is no way, for example, one commissioner can get more than one house if the houses were located mainly for residential purposes. These public officers and a section of staff members have continued to breach their mandate and caused a mockery of the very constitution that breathed life to their existence as an institution. Hatibo, shinikizu za wanaharakati hawazi taitaji mchakato mzimo katiba. Kulingana na katiba, tume ardhi ni miongonu matume huru kumi, ambazo ni lazima mpangu wa kuondo makamishi na uwanze kwanza, na rais kubuni jopo maalum la uchunguzi dhidi yao. We have recently received requests from community groups and individuals who have det details against several commissioners and with the intention to petition parliament for the removal of the commissioners of NLC. Kufuatia agizo la hakimu mkuu katika mahakama ya ofisadi Lawrence Mugambi, Mohamed Sozuri, hawezi kuendesha shughuli za zote kwa niaba ya tume ya ardhi hadi waamuzi kuhusu kesi na mwandama utolewe. Na ingawa naibu wa mwenyekiti Abigail Mbakaya Mukolwe ndiye kaima mwenyekiti makamishi wengine wameshiki ya kwamba hawana hatia hivyo basi wataendelea kuchapa kazi bila pingamizi zozote Shadrack Miti Kitty News